Hey, you guys. Hey, puppies. Hey, goats. You guys want to go down and hang out in your new area? I got it finished. I worked on it three or four days in a row, 10 hours a day, sweating, slaving, cutting. You want to go? You guys, come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, you want to go? You want to go see it? Anybody? P-Dub. Come on, let's go. See. Aren't you excited? Come on, let's go see your new area. Let's go hang out. Let's go show everybody. Huh? You want to go do it, Bubba? Rebel says, let's go. Come on, Riley, you want to come, honey? They're not listening to me. They're not listening. I think they'd rather nap. <laughs> I just don't think they care. Oh, man. You're well, I'll tell you what. Aren't you? Rebel, we'll go down there and show you. But yeah, yeah, the new area that I've been talking about all this time, I worked on it last week. Come on. And I, by golly, I was bound to determined to get it done this week. And we got her done. So we're going to open it up today. I, I wanted you all to see the, the goats and the dogs just run in there and get all excited. But apparently they don't care. We'll show it to you. But first of all, uh, let's show you. Uh, Grandma's going to show you this footage right here. And then we'll walk down and show you how it, how it ended up. Well, you can see that tree which a lot of you had asked hey take this big tree right here push it into the area where the goats are going to be and they'll climb around on it i have no doubt they will but it's proved to be a little bit of a booger it buries up here so i'm still working on it but i'm get her done So here's the deal, folks. This is the new area beyond this fence right here. But what I have to do, the only thing I haven't gotten done is I got to take this fence down all the way around. I don't know, probably about 150 feet of fence. So let's get going. So here's what, here's all I did. Look at, look, that's all that wow. separated. That's all they had to do was come over here, but they couldn't. It's going to be a slow process, that's for sure. You know, I think we've been doing this the hard way. Uh, when I install this, when I put it up, I, I roll it out and then stand it up against the fence. I put zip ties along the way to keep it up. Well, it makes sense if you're gonna, rather than have you, grandma's been, oh, hold on, I'm getting bit, whoa, critter, sorry. I, grandma's been rolling this up, standing up, and I thought, well, why don't we go ahead and just cut it all from the posts, we'll lay it down, and then just roll it up that way. Like a snowball. I'm all for that. You all for that? I'm yeah. All for it. Yeah, that that's you know, work smarter, not harder. But usually it takes me a while to figure that out. How about that. Let me uh, pull it a little bit that way. This has actually gone better than I thought. To tell you the truth, I guess it's because you're helping me. I'm sure that's it. But one of these days, when you retire, if that ever happens, I'll have a lot more help out here. You know what I'm saying? She's I'm working on it. I just tri <laughs> That's why I, I tripped over the, the thing. And, yeah, I tripped over what we weren't supposed to trip over. All right. One more. One more roll. All right. Perfect. Very nice. Good job. Thank you. Nice. So all we have to do is go from there to here. 
and then that's opened up completely. Is it going to be easier to go from that end this way? You want to? It don't matter. What do you want to do? You want to go that way? I'm just thinking we got some trees to go around down there, and if we wait until yeah. we get it real big, it'll be hard oh, to get through. Oh, wow. And that's why you're helping me. That's that analytical brain of mine. And that analytical brain. All right, I think that sounds like a wiener. What you working on? Ow, my fingers. Your fingers? <laughs> are you? <laughs> what some, are you doing? I'm trying to get these so that we don't lean up against them and. Oh, and bend, oh, okay, bending them I over. I thought it'd be easier from this side, but it's not. Yeah. It's not working out like I thought it would. Any suggestions? Well, I'll tell you what you might do is reach, turn your teeth this way. Like you're That's, left handed. You're, yeah. wrong, you're wrong handed, aren't That's you? wrong handed. Well, here, yeah. uh, let me try this. So you reach up through like this. Yeah. Open up a little bit. And then just reach in there from the top and squeeze like that. Okay. How's that? Can you do that? Yep. So I need to come back on that side. Well. Do this one for me. I can't for some reason. Okay, hang on. How's that? Just do it by hand. That'll work. Huh? That'll work. <laughs> Actually, there's only one other one if you there's want to. There's only one other one? <laughs> hey, I tell you what, here's the deal. Oh, wait a Whoa. second. We got that on camera. Did you see that? Look at that. I knew you could. Oh, my word. Well, you see? told me to use pliers. I didn't you need don't, pliers. Did let I? Me, let me, you don't know the secret about bending that metal like that? Here, I'll hold that in. What? You know what the secret is? What? Once you get metal going like that, if you can bend it, just don't stop. It, it heats up in a short amount of time. You just keep, there you go. Okay. Look at that. You don't need pliers. Man, you're Wonder Woman. Yep, there you go. I'm sweating. There you go. <laughs> well, woman sweat. it's 85 degrees. You got a sweatshirt on. Well, I was cold all morning. I had a turtleneck on at work. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. Well, look at poor Lola. I know. I'll go turn the water on. Yeah, you. if you'll do that, I'll just... Uh, I'll show them what I'm doing. I'm just finished rolling this up here. They really do need water in that wall. If you yeah. do, that'd be awesome. Do I need to do that's, anything that's, to this gate? To, uh -huh. Here, I got no, it. No, just strap it through. The, those goats are not coming down. You got your phone in your hip pocket, don't forget. Yeah. Those goats and dogs are just laying there. They could care less about what's going on. So. All right. Be if you back do, that'd be now. great. Yeah, I'll, I'll finish this up. Oh, wow. She is so grateful. She was I'll using her nose, making it deeper right yeah. there. Oh, faces. yeah, you're right in the mud. Well, what I'm going to do... Oh, hang on, look. Well, the dogs have figured it out. There they go. They're out. Lola, did you like that? Bella, you better get in there with Miss Lola. Get on in there. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm going to take, uh, for, her, for this year, you know, I usually put that shade cloth over it. I'm going to take a, one of those uh, six by 10, those chain link panels that I've got, and I'm going to fix these T posts to where they'll sit right on there and slant it and then put a tarp over it and that way it won't do this kind of number and i could leave that up actually all year long probably so i'm going to do that before summer hits and then we'll have a permanent shade thing there so that's going to be nice that'll be another project look at there p-dub oh look what i found right off the bat not even five feet in how cool is that good job buddy way to go what are you doing what were you hollering at me about? Giving them fresh water and they're over there drinking out of the wallow. What? Are they? Yeah. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll prefer that old muddy water than fresh water. You know what? They will. They'll drink that water. Well, Bella was standing here, you know, the whole time I was yeah. doing it. And I thought she was waiting on me to get the water. Yeah, yeah look at her, man. She's going to town with her notes. Look That's at that. what Lola was doing, too. I guess they're making it deeper. It's good to see them enjoying it, though. Oh, it is yeah. pretty warm out here yeah. today. Well, tomorrow I think it's going to be 79 again, but after that it's going to be like 60 and 50. So supposed to rain too. A couple of days. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to get a lot of rain. There she goes. You want me to empty this and you're going to fill it up? Yeah, I'm going to keep Look who finally joined the party. There he is. Go on in, buddy. Go on in. P-Dub says, I got this. Yeah, how about that? Uh-huh. <laughs> P-Dub. Oh, man, look at that. Get that low-hanging fruit, buddy. Ooh, you puppies better get a drink. That exploring new territories make you thirsty, don't it? There you go, that's fresh. One of the first things we may have to do is your idea of getting these. Look, I knew it. There oh my go. word, oh, I just boy. put clean water oh, in Oh boy, there. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Riley Sue. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you're dandy. You're dandy, little girl. She can be all in there. Oh, don't that feel good, though? Look at this one coming up. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So, oh man, thanks, Grandma. I'll get that done here in the next here few days. Uh, 
because it's going to cool down after the mo look, look, look here. That feel good, sweetheart, huh? See, Riley, JC, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? From everything I read about Great Pyrenees, they said dogs don't really like getting in water. Oh, really? They don't know Riley very well. Well, I'll tell you what, I gave her a big old hug the other night, too, so <laughs> I'm going to get him a get him a bigger pool, some kind of a, yeah. something heavier. Uh, somebody said that to get one of those turtles, like a sandbox thing, mm -hmm. it's heavier. So that's what we'll, we, we need to get one of those. And <laughs> I guess they're big enough they can lay in it. Yeah, I think they are. She's always loved the water though. Oh, you know, she, has. she loves getting in. Yep. She loves getting in there. She's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> You're so pretty with a wet nose. I know it feels good. That feels good, Sissy. That feels so good, Dad. That feels good. It's a brother. I remember when two of you could get in there, but I don't think this year you can take baths together anymore, you know? We'll get you something bigger, all right? We'll get you something bigger. Yeah, there we go. That's right. So we're good. Yeah, see, I put this fence up right here, see? This is where the goat's food and the pig food is, but now there's a barrier right here, see? Hi, Miss Bella. Hi, Miss Bella. Hi, honey. I don't know if I get my hand through there or not. Yeah, I can. See, we'll be over there in just a little bit. I hear your sister coming. Here comes your sister. Here she comes. Oh, Livy, talk to me. Oh, you're just muddy. You're so muddy. I know, sissies. Oh, boy, sisters. They're so sweet. You're so sweet. Looky there, there's your doggie. Yeah, there's a doggie. Yeah, see how close you can get? Oh, boy. How, what do you think there? Now, that's pretty close right there. They've got a double fence between them over there, so I hope that works out. What do you think, boys? That's good, huh? Oh, man. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Got a perfect spot for Mr. Charlie. Yeah, got your chair. There you go. No, this is for Mr. Charlie. Yeah, that's Charlie's chair, actually. Yeah, pretty nice. Oh, yeah, they'll just, they can make all of that around there, you know? Yep. Yeah, they're going to love that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's going to help <laughs> cut down on the hay eating for a bit, and uh, definitely the grain. They just, they just flat don't need grain. Yeah. That's all there is to it, you know. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm so excited. That makes me feel so good. See, right now they got so much to do out here. But that's, that, folks, that is what it's all about right there. That is awesome to see. Yep. Goodness, I'll tell you what. I've been over there for half an hour cutting down uh, all those thorny vines that go up to the trees because Riley got hung up four times and I honest to goodness folks and that may be you may think I'm a silly goose it never entered my mind that those dogs I know they're furry I get it gets caught in the thorns but I didn't think she'd go barreling just right through them you know I just did not see that coming but sure as shooting that's what she did so uh they're both over there now laying down by the pallets worn out the goats are still down there but uh yeah i spent the last <laughs> got my legs all scratched up because i i wore shorts today because i didn't think i'd be over there doing that kind of stuff and i didn't want to take the time to come back with pants on so here we are anyhow let's uh let's do a little quick feeding of the animals here they're uh been patiently waiting on me the birds and the piggies so we'll get this done here you go chick here, Daisy. There goes Shirley. Come here, Goldie. Come here. There you go. Have I got enough energy to do a wormy dance? Let me think. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get up. Woo! There we go. I will never be too tired to do the wormy dance. I will crawl through the wormy dance to do it, folks. I can tell you right now. Yep. I am just silly enough to do that at, at the ripe old age of 65. Here, you get a few wormies. Whoa, whoa, Daisy. Daisy. What's up? Get in there, BB. Calm your gals down. Ooh, my goodness. Got a little dust up there. Here we go. We'll throw a few out. These girls have been out. Oh, goodness. 
a long time, almost all day, and they're spread out far and wide. These wormies right now, I'll give them a, you know, the morning time is a really good time to give them some wormies. We'll throw some out here. There we go. Yeah, all right. Hi, baby. How are you? Where you been, huh? Yeah, baby and mama, or somebody, caught a huge rabbit. I can't believe that those cats would have got a rabbit that big, folks, but they did. They got it hid back there by the shed, and you know what's happening, right? Yeah, but uh, nothing you can do about that. But man, if they're big enough to catch that rabbit, woo, heck of a deal. Let's see, girls, let me open this up for a little bit. I got 16 eggs yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven today. Uh oh, that's all right. These girls have been really good. They the egg production up. I'm proud of them. Chuck said he'd take some more. And uh, we have a place called uh, Watered Gardens that uh, take in folks, you know. And I will, uh, I already know, um, my neighbor actually told me he, he goes down and uh, cooks there on, uh, on one night of the week or so. So he uh, told me they definitely take eggs. So I'll take some down there. Hi, buddy. Hi, <laughs> Riley. Let's go down and feed some goats and pit. Oh, look at that chicken. Look at that bird. See, she don't care. She don't care. Yeah. Let's go down and feed the goats, even though the goats have all that room over there. Yeah, they still want their little bit of grain. But I tell you what, now that I've opened that up, they're not going to get, it's, it's going to be stopped. PDQ, for sure. The grain train is almost over, you two. It is not necessary. Right on? Hmm? I'm surprised you're not over there still eating. I hear your little goat buddies hollering. Yep, we'll have to get over there and take care of them here pretty soon. There's a train behind me. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the train. Come on. They're worn out. They're worn out, man. We've interrupted their nap time today, so they're going to crash when we get done feeding them. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay. All right, kids. Hang on. Watch out, man. Watch out. Let me in there. Back up. Oh, you're muddy. That's right. Whoa. Got it. Here. Here. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. There we go. Woo. All righty. Hey, I appreciate your... Whoops. About tripped. Appreciate your patience today, girls. Appreciate your patience, all right? I'll get you a roof over your wallow here pretty soon, all right? Get you taken care of. Yep. See, yep. See, we're no less important than anybody else on this place, are we? No, no, no. No sir, Bob. Hmm? Okay, that's a pretty girl. That's a pretty girl. All right. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, boy, that ain't... I know, that's very disappointing, I'm sure. I'm sure you are very disappointed, I'm sure. Pretty soon, all you guys are going to be getting is some minerals. You know what? A few little licorice trees, okay? Maybe if I give you less grain, you'll eat more minerals. Maybe that's how you do it, huh? They're way better for you than grain, right? Here, come here. Okay, I got one. Hang on, I got one here. Hang on, let me get one more. I got it. And another one and another one. There we go. All right, there we go. Done. All done. All done. Sissy? Oh, hang on. Oh, wait a second. What have I got for Sissy? Oh, <gasps> look at there. Where would you look at that? You know it. Bubba, come here, Bobby. Come here, Rev. Here, buddy. You're such a good boy. Here's a good boy. There we go. He's a good boy. That a boy. All right. Okay. You all right? Hmm? You get hung up in the more stickers? I know. We got you out, though. It's all right. We got you out. But if it sticks and pokes at you, don't go in it. Okay? Oh, all right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you need to chill out and relax a little bit. All right. Hey, hi, boys. Hi, boys. I heard you hollering at me. What have I got? Oh, boy. Look here. Wait a minute. Here you go. There's a cracker. Here you go. Okay, hang on. Just got to get it in your mouth. Here, Abu. Here, Rambo. There we go. There we go. Here, I, got, I think I got enough for just... A little bit. There's a little bit. Uh, Abu, hang on, buddy. 
get it, you get it? It just kind of crumbles, but here we go. One for you, some for you, some for you. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, that's it. Let's learn the hand signal. That means we're done, Gizmo. That means we're done, Bubba. Get some fresh water here. Okay, fresh water. Here we go. All righty. When they got banded the other day, we kind of showed a little bit of the aftermath and how they were, you know, just like couldn't move. And uh, a lot of you were just, oh, poor little goats, poor little goats. I understand it, but, you know, a few of you said, you know, you just thought it was cruel and brutal and how could you do that? Well, you know, I don't know if you've ever had goats or not, you know, I don't know. I've never had them until now, you know, last, what, three years, taking care of them for four, been mine for, say, three, or whatever it is, I don't know, three or four years, but easy, easy, easy now. But, you know, the, the alternative to not banding a, a goat that you're never going to intend to let them breed, hi, buddy, hi, buddy, hi, bubba, hi, abu, uh, you know, they, they get mature and, and they are very aggressive, a lot of them. I've not been a, a, around too many goats that are not weathers, but from what I understand, you take Mario, for example, that Kyle and Shannon had, and I know he had females, but, you know, he just got downright mean and ornery and, you know, left unweathered. These guys that have been the same way with their other goats and no telling what with the dogs and, you know, um, you know, folks, if you've not had goats, you don't understand. They'd be way much harder, way more trouble to take care of. And this banding, you know, it's not a painful thing. I know it sounds painful and it's uncomfortable, but it's not a, you know, a thing that lasts. It lasted like, you know, a couple of days maybe. And look at them now. You know, they're up running around and, you know, everything is numb. And, you know, it's for their own good down the road. Uh, if I were going to breed goats, yeah. But I'm not. These are pets, so I want everybody to calm down. Well, let me ask you something. Those of you dog owners, cat owners, do you spay and neuter your dogs and cats? Don't you? If you unless you're using them to breed, unless you want to go through that cycle they go through, that's fine if you don't. I haven't always done ours. However, you know, you spay and neuter your dogs and cats, but yet you get a little upset when I ban these goats. Same thing. They're just fine. Yeah. You spay and neuter animals, and if you don't intend to breed them, it's probably the best thing for them, you know. And they're going to be just good and fine. They're fine. They're good. See, they're all happy now. Everything's numbed up, and here, a few more days, things fall off, and we're good. Like I said, they only have a, a bad day or two, and they didn't lay around and cry and moan. They just thought, wow, something's different, you know. That's just as brown as he can be, you know. That's just, that's just downright brown can't call it any other color. Abu, you're just, well, you're just black and white. That's all there is to it. You and Mr. Rambo over there. Yeah. Oh, it's on your head. It's falling on your head. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Hi, Fox. How are you, buddy? All right, boys, I'll leave you to your hay, okay? See, all right. That's fine. That's a good boy. You all right? Everything good? Hmm? Yep. Yep. Yes, a boy. Yes, a boy. I ain't a boy. Gizmo. We talked earlier in this video about uh, building an addition and giving the uh, little goats more room. Hi, boys. Did you help me today? Yes, we did. Gizmo, Rambo, a boo. So I worked on that today. Now, and you can tell. <laughs> Yesterday we worked out in tennis shoes, tennis shoes, well I had tennis shoes on, uh, t-shirts, I had shorts on, 80 some odd degrees. Today, phew, wow, couldn't finish this yesterday, so we worked on it today, cold out here today, but anyway, I wanted to show you because we said we would, so I took 70 feet, 70 linear feet of welded wire and expanded their pin. Uh, the original wall was right here, so I went from, you can just see, tree to tree to post all the way around here so they got all this room in here all right in addition here they come and when I did it it took them 30 minutes to find it and come out here and start eating potato chips didn't it 
and you came out here and you cried and you cried and you cried. Didn't you, huh? Didn't you, Gizmo? Yeah, didn't you? Hey, Rambo. I can't reach you, little man. There you go. Yes, I can, Abu. All right, you guys are good, okay? Anyway, we wanted to show you that. So we got that done, and we got the other area opened up, and so we're good, all right? So we're good, okay. Hey, guess what? Stay tuned. Got a fire going. I'm gonna end it in front of the fireplace. Be right back. How's my hair look? Great. That last part I filmed uh, with the uh, going out and showing them the extension on the goat pen. Mm -hmm. I literally just came in the house, pulled my stocking cap off. He's been in here for hours. I didn't even go into the bathroom and <laughs> and and brush my hair, nothing. So I've got stocking cap head, and you now I don't even care. I told him about it. he had about ten minutes before I fell asleep in front of this fire. So yeah, I know. Oh, I tell you what, folks. I this. We, gra okay, let's let's do the court cart before the horse or horse. But you know, Grandma hasn't even edited this video yet. I haven't even. So I said, that. hey, we got to come in and finish edit finish the video. But I knew I had to get that. Pin, I wanted to get that pin done and show everybody because what we talked about. So there you go. You know, they got the pin. The the, the goat's got the extra area. And, and it, what is it? It's okay. Your hair looks great. The little oh, light. thanks. So oh, I gotta need to take a breath. Yeah, slow down. I know. Relax. I told him out there, 80 degrees, what, three days in a row. Yep. Today, 51 and a cold 51, wind out of the north, same thing tomorrow. Well, and it was supposed to be warmer than this, wasn't it? I, just, I thought it was supposed to be 79 today. I thought I thought, I it, thought it was going to be cooler, but I thought it was like or, 65 to 70, right, something like right. that. You're right. Never even yeah. got to 55, just no. brutal out there. I mean, I'm just like starting over and I'm yeah, so anyhow, we've got, probably got enough firewood left for probably five or six fires, and I don't know if we can squeeze them in, but definitely tonight and tomorrow night we'll have this. And I tell you what, that that kicked on in about, well, it didn't even take 20 minutes. That thing kicked on. That so was awesome. It feels it was amazing. I don't know if y'all can feel that. We got That blows out here. It heats the entire... If they can feel it? <laughs> I doubt okay, put they your, can uh, feel it. Well, we have smell. Put your feel of vision on. And imagine this coming out at, I mean, it's got to be 90 degrees. Got to be coming out of that, and it fills the front room, then it makes its way down the hallway. Do I feel like Oh, I'm, your hands are freezing. I know. Wow. I know. Anyway, well, you, you'll get, get warmed up, you know, to take Well, shower. it was really nice and toasty in here, and he said, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to film a little bit. I'll be right back. I said, okay. I'm sitting over on the love seat. We have this little battle going. The door does not latch going out the garage very well. So I lock him out when he doesn't close the door because it'll blow open. So I'm sitting here relaxed and I'm finally warm for the day and all of a sudden I hear this feel this Arctic wind blowing in and I thought he didn't close the door. So Arctic. I got up and went in and locked him out of the house again. <laughs> yeah, I come in. I. <laughs> Tried to open the door and it's locked. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You know, yeah, you I heard you even. Yeah. <laughs> well, I offered to fix that and you told me not to. I can fix that. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I said, hey, I can put a little shim in there. No. No. All right. I won't fix it. Oh, yeah. You're dreaming. Close your You're mouth. You're dreaming. Close your mouth. I like dreaming. Anyway, we were going to make this pretty quickly, but uh, pretty quick, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is you relaxing. Can. We could have this great conversation. We're going to do it. We you, have to. You can do that and have a great conversation with him. I'm going back over on the couch where I can feel the, you know, yeah. warmth coming over. Well, my, uh, mom made, uh, she made chili and it was really good. Thank it was you. really good. It was it really was good. good. Thank you. So it, it was awesome. It hit the mark tonight. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you made it this long, we appreciate it. If you're new and you made it this long, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, if you're old and made it this long, thank you very, very much. We have folks that are stick with us through no matter what, you know it. Yeah, we do. God love them. No matter how long yeah. you talk. God bless them. I know. It amazes me. It amazes me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, we're not done expanding out there. I got more plans. Everybody's going to get an expansion. Oh, you know? who's I'm left? kind of on a roll. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We're not going to let that out yet. Sorry, right. Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good one. Thank you, folks, uh, for all the prayers. Uh, we, we've had some, we've had some uh, 
losses this week mm -hmm. of some dear Doss family members losing loved ones, you know, and I'm not saying that to bring anybody down. I mean, I just want to let you know, and if that happened to you, we read it, we know it, we acknowledge it, and, you know, um, uh, we love you, and we're thinking about you, and we're praying for you, a lot of people praying for you, no matter what your situation is, okay? God knows, and uh, we'll just, we'll keep reminding God so he don't forget. He won't forget, will he? No. He doesn't forget. He no. never forgets. We love you all so very much. Thank you for taking time to watch our videos. If it's for two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, or waiting, or, or all the way till now, thank you. Until next time, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. We should have said thanks for putting up with us. Thank you for, for putting, putting up, up with, with Leanne. <laughs> Is that better? That's better. Oh, uh, feel that fire? <laughs>